wanted to be honest with, and I remember high school. Woo Thank you, Mom. <laughs> and this poem is called Apocalyptic Alphabet Soup. I want to lace all the baby bottles in the world with alphabet soup. Because I want children to be able to see the words for hatred, oppression, and ignorance before the world teaches them. I want them to taste pain and feel struggle run down their cheeks. I want them to open their eyes and bear witness to unexpected surprises. I want them to choke down reality and when they finally cough it back up, let it be laced with disappointment. But most importantly, I want them to cradle their innocence in between their tiny hands. And when it gets cold, when it gets cold, I want them to warm it with their happiness. I want them to at least know the letters, see the symbols that spell innocence before it is ripped from their hands to be replaced with drugs. Drugs responsibility and hands too tight to grow up so fast. Growing up, his innocence is always taken. Like a drug shot back like heroin, the same heroin that prevented the hero in them to bloom. Stomping on their brain with roots made of needles. What if we poison their minds to get them ready for the world? Poisons their souls. What if it's in timelines? We learned lifelines. Those people who need in your time of need, but they're too busy being needy and instead of promises, or even pinky swears. Let's give them handshakes and contracts with print much smaller than their alphabet soup. Instead of playground rules, let's hand them war. Let them blindly chop down their classmates to the corner of the blacktop. And instead of even count on apples or, or even fluffy bears. Let's have them number off fighter jets. Let's have them tick the ratio of bullets and bodies off for us. Let them multiply that malnourishment and use the Dewey Decimal System to find books on Chinese torture and justice. Why don't we let them paint the gun by numbers? Let them play splatter paint in blood. Let us lay them down for naps of segregation, voicing them hymns of inequality and tears. Instead of kitchen, let them play warmonger. Let them fight over who gets to be the terrorist and who gets to lie in the coffin. Let's fill their Halloween candy with horse tranquilizer because maybe then they'll be numb enough to catch whatever life throws at them with their face. And when they are black and blue, let's ask them what went wrong. Why they allowed us to fill their minds with poison? What we should be asking is how did it get so filled with needles? No matter where they walk, though, it's always the next hit, the next shoot up, the next chance to elude their blissful ignorance with knowledge that isn't always power. And until the day comes that we no longer make little addicts out of little hands, I will request that the letters in our alphabet soup come with AA meetings and intervention dates printed on that.